Hey guys, my name is Matthew, and I've been thinking about doing this video for a long time. Uh, I considered doing this video, I mean, literally for over a year. And the whole time I always tell myself, you know what, doing a video on washing dishes or washing up or whatever you want to call it, it's really lame. But here we go. I do start most of my videos with a caveat and people accuse me of that all the time. This video is no exception. In this video, we're talking about the generalities of washing dishes in the US versus the UK. The reason they can't get super specific on these things is because every single family I've ever seen do dishes has been completely different than any other family. Every family has their weird peculiarities and these little things that they think are so important, like you have to use a microfiber cloth or you have to wait them they have to be drying for this long before you put them away, or you have to, I don't know, there's all the little weird things that your family does. I'm not talking about your family. I'm talking about what I've noticed in the dozens of families that I saw do dishes in the UK versus the hundreds of families that I've seen do it in the United States. And so that's what this video is about. I'm sitting here doing an edit. I don't want to reshoot this whole video or any specific part of it actually. So I'm just being lazy and adding this in, but I want to say, I don't mention dishwashers at all in this video. I'm specifically talking about hand washing throughout the whole video, even though I'm aware that we're like in the 21st century and nearly everyone has a dishwasher. I just thought the hand washing dishes piece was interesting. So that's what we're talking about. To start with, we have to talk about the language differences between the US and the UK when it comes to this menial household chore. <laughs> In the United States, we typically talk about doing the dishes or sometimes washing the dishes. This is a task that's done after the meal is done. In the UK, there's this phrase that's called washing up or to wash up. And that is an interesting phrase because in the United States, we, t we do our washing up before the meal. You might wash up, uh, clean your face and your hands before your meal starts, and then you go and eat your meal and afterwards you do the dishes. In the UK, that's done the other way around in that the word wash up actually just means to clean up the dishes or to wash the dishes afterwards. So oftentimes I've heard the phrase, would you do the washing up or I'm going to go wash up things like that. And they aren't talking about cleaning their hands and face. They're talking about doing the dishes. Another small one that makes a big difference is what you call the detergents or the soap that you use to do the cleaning. In the UK, you use the word, I've heard two different things that we are not familiar with in the United States. One of them is washing up liquid, which makes sense because you guys do washing up instead of the dishes. And the other one is fairy liquid and fairy liquid is a brand. I think that's funny because as a, as an American, people often accuse me and my people of using a lot of brand names as opposed to so, so we'll say Kleenex instead of tissue, but the UK has a whole variety of their own that they use. Fairy liquid is one of them. People will often use that even if they're not using fairy liquid. Um, sorry, fairy liquid is a brand of dishwashing soap. So it's a type of washing up liquid. In the United States, we tend to use what we call dish soap. It's the exact same product. Actually, uh, we use a product called Dawn. That's like the leading, the leading one. We don't call it Dawn, but we, that's the brand that most people use is Dawn dish soap and Dawn and Ferry are both created by the same person, the same company, Procter and Gamble. So they're an American company and they bake, they both make Ferry liquid and Dawn dish soap. So that's a little fun fact for you. It's nearly the same product, nearly identical, and it's the best. So there's that. Moving on from language, we have a few differences in the way that our sinks are set up as well. I'll start with the UK. In the UK, I've noticed most of the time you have one larger sink, sometimes only one large sink, and then sometimes a smaller sink kind of next to that. Um, and most of the time what I've seen is kind of this, normally it's metal kind of dish draining area that just drains into the smaller sink. Um, and we'll get into why these sink setups are different in a minute. But the other thing that most UK dish washing, washing setups, dish washing is hard to say. I'm just now realizing why you guys are washing up. Most washing up stations come with kind of a, a, a plastic bucket. It's like a, a Tupperware, that's a brand name. It's like a Tupperware plastic bucket that sits next to the sink. And that's where most of the dishes go before they're ready to be washed. And then they're washed in kind of the big sink and drained in the dr dish draining area. In the United States, most frequently, and again, these are generalities, but most frequently I've seen two large, equally, uh, you know, roughly equally the same size 
uh, sinks, and normally there's no dish draining area that drains into either one of those sinks. We'll talk about the difference here in just a minute for why that is. Now for the actual task of, of cleaning up the dishes, what does this look like? Well, as I mentioned before, in the UK, they have a bucket, kind of a big plastic bucket that the dishes go into. And I never saw anyone say this for sure. So let me know in the comments, is this a rule? Is this like a, an unwritten rule? What is this rule here? But I've seen that most often people put their, dir their dirty dishes into that bucket. It seems like it's almost rude to put the dish into the sink or put it beside the sink, which are the two things that I've seen most common in the United States. In the U.S., people either say, go ahead and just put your dirty dishes in the sink, or they'll say, go ahead and put them beside the sink. Um, and that's kind of the most common way that we see dirty dishes stacked up before a meal. In the U.K., I most frequently saw them put into that bucket. And sometimes, some families have that bucket already full of boiling water or boiled water that's kind of cooling down a little bit. So that way, they start to soak before you even do the washing of your dishes. In the US, when we're doing our dishes, the reason we have two kind of roughly equally the same size sinks is because most of the time, if we're going to do a lot of dishes, what we tend to do is fill up one sink to the, to the top with hot water and soap. And the other sink is used for rinsing. Now, I've seen families do this in a couple different ways. Some families just fill the sink up with, with water for rinsing, and they just dunk each item, rinse it off, and set it to the side. The next type of person I've seen is they run water constantly or every time they're rinsing anyway, they'll turn the water back on, rinse the dish, turn the water off, and then pass the dish. And so we use two sinks. One is for washing, one is for rinsing in the United States. Rinsing dishes is kind of important because you don't want your dishware to be really sudsy and gross, right? And that would probably leave residue or whatever. Maybe not, we'll get to that in a second. But lastly, in the American system, we wash in the first sink, we dry, or we, Sorry, we wash in the first sink, we rinse in the next sink, and most Americans, not most, I'm not gonna say that, but I'll say it's much more common, I've noticed in the United States, for an American to have a second helper, so one person's washing and rinsing, and the second person is drying the dishes actively with a dish towel and then putting them away, or maybe multiple dish towels, depending on how many dishes that you have. Once your towel gets too soaked, you move on to the next one and put them away. So that's kind of the American system. Wash, rinse, dry with a towel, put them away. And this happened in two bigger sinks. In the UK, what I've noticed is a little bit different. And that is, uh, again, I'm not entirely sure. Some, some people use the bucket a little bit differently, but you remove it from the bucket where it's been soaking. You wash it in the big sink. Like I mentioned before, there's not really a rinsing sink. And so with the suds oftentimes still on the dish, a lot of times they'll put it straight into a dish rack or a dish draining system that kind of drains the water down into the smaller sink. And I've noticed, while well, I've seen this done in both countries, I've noticed British people are much more likely to let their dishes sit out and air dry as opposed to be washed with a rag and then put away. Not that, again, I haven't seen that done in both countries. I've seen it done both ways in both countries, but that is an interesting difference in my mind. I will also say one other thing that I think Americans get blamed for in their dish doing is that we tend to let the water run. And I will say, if I'm only washing a few dishes, like, hey, I've got three cups and two forks and I need to wash those, then I'm probably just going to wash the, wash the dish out in my large sink uh, and, then, and then rinse it off there and set it off or maybe dry it and put it away. And so with a, only a few dishes, as opposed to saying, hey, we're going to fill up one sink all the way, fill up a second sink all the way, it actually might save water for us in our system just to say, oh, we'll run the water a little bit and clean them out. And that's, again, something I've seen in the U.S. and the U.K., but it's probably more frequently done in the United States when you've just got a few dishes not to fill up the whole sink. The big difference between the U.S. and the U.K., in my mind, when I've seen people do it, is in the U.K., people are much more likely not to rinse their dishes off. I've heard a few reasons as for why. One of them was an advertisement that was done many, many years ago in the UK where one of these washing up liquid companies made the advertisement claim that, oh, with our detergent, you don't need to rinse it off. And so that kind of started a chain reaction where it was like, actually, do we ever need to rinse it off? And it has actually affected the culture of British washing up. It is done differently now than it was before because of that advertisement. In the U.S., we never had such an advertisement, or if we did, it just didn't click, and so we continue to rinse our dishes. I never noticed a flavor or a taste of, of extra sudsy dishes or whatever from them being left out, so maybe it, the United States has just been putting an extra step in it all these years, and that advertisement, had it been in the U.S., would have uh, just saved us a bunch of time and effort. Who knows? 
One other difference that I've seen between US and UK sinks is in the United States, there's this many, many sinks have this, not all of them, but a lot of them do have this like little weird gun thing. Um, we have to have guns in everywhere, you know, because we're Americans. This one shoots water and it's actually convenient sometimes for overly large dishes or for things you want to rinse off. Um, but it always makes a mess. And so you use it with like caution because it sprays, it's always got too much power and they're like notoriously leaky. So a lot of a lot of more modern sinks haven't had them on them, but like every sink I grew up with definitely had one of these little attachments. You can just spray water all over the place. Or if you're in a pranking mood, you can like put a rubber band around it. So that way when someone turns on the sink, it sprays them. Uh, Americans know what I'm talking about. It's fine. <laughs> this has been the difference between the US and the UK when it comes to washing dishes or cleaning up dishes or washing up or whatever it is you want to call it. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like and subscribe. And as always, see you guys next time.